Hey, oh! Subscribers. Hi guys! Here. Hey guys! Music here! Uh, <laughs> sorry, me and Ethan were just playing some video games in honor of National Video Game Day! Yep, that's today! Uh, and I count it as an official holiday as a gamer. <laughs> and this is just today's video. It's on September 12th, in 2020, just so you know. Yeah, if it goes up later, just so you know, this was recorded on National Video Game Day, but I plan to get it out today, so you guys have something to enjoy uh, for this honorable gaming holiday of two. Yes, it's a video game day, day in general as well. Well, uh, but anyway, in honor of today's National Video Game Day, me and Ethan thought it would be a good idea to talk about two of the ga gaming's biggest franchises. No, I'm not referring to my own Sonic. Sonic, that's a video for another time. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about a new series, and uh, yes, a new series on the channel called Fighters Showdown. So here's how it goes. Me and Ethan are going to be doing two franchises back to back. This works a little bit different from Chart Makers, Makers in a way, way because we're not necessarily going to be keeping you in the dark. Ethan will explain what's his Tekken list. Uh, but um, we're going to be do talking about two fighting franchises. And on this poll here, you guys will see uh, the rankings. Rankings for all these franchises, except for one installment in particular. That Ethan or I will name. Name. Uh, then we will give the ratings of the rest of the I uh, rest of the ones once, once, uh, once, and then you guys get to guess guess which one one the installment we show is gonna be. Uh, of course, we won't reveal it to you until then. Uh, so um, the four franchises, not for this video, but. For two, the first two videos, this one's going to be focused on two of the world's biggest fighting franchises. That would be Tekken and Street Fighter. Now, for both franchises, we will not be counting any spin-offs. Yes, this includes the Street Fighter Alpha series and the Tekken Tag Tournament games. Yep. Yeah, we will only be counting main installments. We might do a Fighter Showdown, showdown Final Round round when we've completed every spin-off as well to give our opinions. Mm -hmm. But for the time being being it's only the main installment. So for Tekken, Ethan is gonna be rating all seven Tekken games yes. from one to seven. Uh and of course of course Ethan will give his opinion and what he thinks. And please Tekken fans go easy on him. Some of these opinions might be a little underrated in the Tekken community. So Go easy on him, please. I ask you nicely. Um, and then we will wait all five Street Fighter games. That one might be a little bit faster, faster because Street Fighter is a pretty straightforward franchise. Uh, but Tekken's a little bit more complicated. Uh, the next video after this, we'll be comparing. Uh, we'll be doing Soul Calibur and Dead or Alive. Now, Soul Calibur, we have to wait on, and Dead or Alive, we have to wait on for sure, because me and Ethan have not played uh, for Soul Calibur, Soul Edge, which is technically the first installment in the series, uh, and Soul Calibur 3, which is sadly PlayStation 2 exclusive, and you know how those go for on the virtual market nowadays. Uh, and as for Dead or Alive, we have yet to play the first installment, Installment of the series, uh, so we'll go aim to get an original Xbox and Dead or Alive Hardcore at some point. Uh, but we have played four, five, and six, so we're just missing three, two, and well, actually, I've only played two, uh, and we'll put missing three and one. So um, we'll have to f I had to find a way to track those down down for ourselves. But just because I want want a good a good opinion on uh, Dead or Alive One. We're gonna I'm gonna track try and track down Dead or Alive Hardcore for that one, which means I gotta track down the original Xbox. And given the fact that those don't go cheap, <laughs> that may be a problem. So that video is gonna be way off into the future. But for this one, we're gonna be focusing on Tekken and Street Fighter. So Ethan, why don't you go ahead and explain how you're going to do the Tekken list. I'll be joining Ethan for the Street Fighter list, but this first list is purely Ethan since he's played all the Tekken games, and he's purely our Tekken veteran. So why don't you explain how your list is going to go, bud? Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is, is just for this specifically, I'm going to have a numbers on the top of the screen, as you can see right now, they're appearing. 
And this is a question mark means we don't know what game it is yet. We'll find out when I say so. And when I say a specific title like Tekken, it will go right up there, for example, as you can see. Exactly. Exactly. Now, how to mix things up and make it different from chart makers, we're going to mention Tekken 7, but it's going to be right here on my side side of the poll, so you got it's because you guys don't know exactly what Tekken 7 is going to appear. So, uh, we're going to mention the latest installment in the fight franchise, and that is Tekken 7. So, Tekken 7 is going to go probably right here. And then, um, when Ethan mentions Tekken 7's name, it will, I will move the picture from right where it is onto the pole here. So, yeah. All right, buddy. Why don't you name the first one? All right, so on number seven... This is gonna be like the most obvious opinions on some Tekken fans like me. This one, this is gonna be something like I notice every Tekken fan would agree with me on, or some might not. Who knows? I'm not sure. Because I don't pay attention to Tekken community that much, but I can say this for sure. No worries. It's not like the most most popular popular game that you guys love. It's in that number. Okay, so number seven. It's the first Tekken game. Okay, so I bet you a lot of Tekken fans would agree with me with this. I hope, because I don't pay attention that much in community. But this game in particular, let's just say... Eh, 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 eh. No go for me. Reason why? I didn't play so much constantly, but I noticed uh, content of this game. It's not that much. It's just terrible. You only have his test mode. I don't know. That is, correct me on that, if it's a pra if it's like a practice mode, or I'm not sure what it is. I know it has two-player and arcade, I believe. But I don't know how long it goes. But I do know that something about, the, like, when you pause in the middle of the fight. But guess what? No command list. Ben I'm not go I, I mean, I don't know how successful that was back then. I, I don't get how it's so successful back then. <laughs> My guess is, maybe a lot of people starting to love it, and then they, Ben Neckle goes, Okay, let's throw a second stone in there, since people love it. And they improved it, so... Again, let's say Tekken 1 is kind of not that good on the roster, because that's obvious when you start off a series. And, and also, Kitten, not that much. That's kind of unfortunate for me. And as a, as a fan of the Tekken series... That's why I put it number seven. So, I hope you guys don't mind that part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you forgot to mention the controls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's say the controls in that one, they're messed up. It feels like it feels like it's so... It's not slippery. It's hard to move your character so well. It just doesn't seem that great. That's Ethan's opinion, just so you know. Uh, okay, so number six, six, six is now one and uh, seven and six were kind of a toss up, a toss up for Ethan, Ethan. But I have to talk to him about the differences between the two, so this one might not shock you, or maybe some of you are gonna like not like me for that. But I'll say anyway. Number six, I'll say it quick, or I get oh. We'll see. On number six, I'm putting it, unfortunately, it's the latest game in the installment, Tekken 7. Yep. Yep. And so I moved the picture from a, a right here on the side over to the list. Yeah, so for that one, the reason why I put that in number six, I did play it so much, and I remember a couple of things I have complaints on. Roster, ah, 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 ah. That's not the reason, okay? Yeah, me and Ethan don't hate the roster. That's not the uh, reason. Trust me, trust me. If we had issues with, issues with the roster, we would have told you guys ahead of time. Uh, but no, 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 no. It's not the roster. There's a couple complaints I have in this game, okay? So, not about the gameplay. I think the gameplay is more approved from the rest of the Tekken games. But that's not my complaints. Why I put it number six. Okay. Two, uh, two particular complaints. One, arcade mode. He only put his five? Is all you got, Ben? I. This is just messed up. 
Okay, so I understand you're putting like a new crossover character like Akuma from Street Fighter and Kazumi as your bosses in the arcade. But I'm sorry, but the problem with this one is it's too short. It's not that great. It's just all messed up, okay? I, I just feel like where we come up with this short idea is not good. I get it because it's so much characters in the game. I get it. But that's not my point in the complaint, though. That's not my point. The point is, you get a balance between that and the characters roster. I understand you're trying to make it as a huge roster the rest of the Tekken games. I understand. I, I just feel like something about this arcade just made me like, I'm, I even had returned that game one time. Yeah, I was that bad, guys. Yeah, and the story... Yeah, let's not get even that was the story, or we'll be here all day. Yeah, so, there's just a few things in the game. I know the controls are so good. I know the gameplay is so good. I get all that, but those complaints, particularly, that's my reason why it's number six. You gotta be glad that I didn't put it the, the, the first number, and number seven. Yeah, that would have been ironic! And pity, but I have to give it to uh, Ethan. So you have a little bit of thanks to thanks to me, me that I convinced him that Tekken One was a little worse, worse than Tekken Seven. Actually, I played it and I thought it's worse. It, That's all I say. Exactly. And you didn't actually convince convince. No way, Jose. Yeah, yeah, but it was thanks to playing and a little ingenuity on my end, and that made him put Tekken One on Seven instead of Tekken Seven on Seven. So. You have the get Tekken one and uh, and uh, tech uh, me to thank for that. <laughs> Either way, the next one. Next one, this is gonna turn off the feds, honestly. And I've been turned, they've been turned off on my opinions before. I remembered, but I'll say it to, to be safe. This one particularly is another classic Tekken game that some of you I think you're gonna be so turned off. But I'll go ahead and say it, and I'll say my reasons. Number five is Tekken 4. Tekken 4. Hey, here we go again. Complain like crazy. Guys, I get, I get if you have a problem with uh, Tekken uh, 4, you said? Uh, if you have a problem with Tekken 4, I don't mind you guys com commenting below, low, but at least give a reason why you hate Tekken 4. I'm not gonna take, uh, uh, as the go, as Coley as the go gamers, I am not gonna take, take any, oh, you hate it because you never tried it. All these games, Ethan has played. Yes. So, played at least once. So, don't go complaining to him, please. Okay, so the reason is... I, I can see the controls are nice, okay? And the gameplay is nice. That's too obvious I'm putting it out. And of course, like a tent. I'm not sure about the tent at all. But there's one complaint I do not understand. Hihachi, the final boss. What makes him the best final boss in your opinions? What what makes him the best in the I, 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 he's He's just generic. It's just so generic and in some some uh, generic wise, and I noticed it. And it's sure that a lot of people are gonna be like, "You have a complaint it's because of the Hihachi?" No, 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 no. <laughs> because to me, I just find it some ways I notice in the game, it just feels a little repetitive. Okay, like it feels a little repetitive. It's not that much content like the other games. To be honest, <laughs> like some classics. Yeah, so, one thing you should be glad is, is that I'm not putting it way the last one like I did with Tekken 1, so. <laughs> yeah, like I said, be a little thankful that Ethan isn't putting it that low. Low, you're lucky you got two numbers higher. Yeah, so, this one, I mean, I would have liked it more if I actually understood more better, but the problem is, it's just not for me, Okay. I mean, at least I like it a bit more than the first two I just mentioned. Other than that, count me out. 
Now, uh, like I said, even might uh, this might change in the future. Our opinions are always changing as they are in gaming. Gaming. So if Ethan eventually plays it down the road, we might redo this list. But for the time being, this is what Ethan stands for this Tekken game. So if Ethan plays Tekken 4 again, he'll let you guys know on Twitter if things have changed. But for the time being, yeah, it's number number six, uh, number five. Five. All right. What's number four? Number four. Oh boy, here we go again. This is the people's favorite, and no worries, it's in the middle of the list. You shouldn't be that turned off that easy. So, it might, it might turn you off a little bit, but that's just gonna be something like for me that I'm saying this. Okay, so, number four, it's Tekken 3. Before you put your tomatoes on pitchforks, you gotta be so glad it's in the middle, okay? Ethan could have put it at number one, but he's nice. <laughs> yeah, let's say, reason why it's in the middle. Okay, I see, like, this game actually looks more better than uh, those ones I just mentioned to you. And I dare say it's even better than Tekken 7, can I say? Ooh! Hear that, by Namco? You need to step up your game. Game on the visuals. Ow! Yeah, so, reason why it's in the middle. To me, it's just hit or miss. Like, like I like some of the mini games in that game. I liked um, uh, what was it? The volleyball one. I forget what it is. And I liked uh, the 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 character secret characters and stuff. I like the mini. I like the final boss in the arcade. It's interesting. Yeah, and I just thinking that that game isn't like my cup of tea. Like my top top favorite. It's not my cup of tea. I like the characters and all. <laughs> so, I see this is like a lot of people's favorites in the series. Me? No. It's not the most best. It's the good game. I don't say it's the best best, in my opinion. Is there any reason to why? There is. Let's say, um, let's see. The controls. Ooh. And the controls are good. But, for some reason, I don't know how to explain it. Let's just say, I was just a little disappointed with that final, final character. That's just, <clears throat> not that great. Hey, Ethan said final character. He didn't spoil it. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. I'm trying my best to explain much better as I can. It's just that... I think that one's especially vague for Ethan. Ethan, since... How many times have you played that game? A lot. Oh, so... Ethan clearly doesn't remember, so it's probably been a while since he's played that one. If you remember some Ethan, he'll let you guys know. I do remember that game. Is it my top favorite? Yeah. Uh, he likes it, but... It's just something that's keeping him from putting it a little higher. Not not too high, but it's because I see all those other games are better than this one. All right, let's continue then. Number three. Oh boy, you a lot of people are gonna be like, huh? Why'd you put that over that? Just wait until I say something, okay? All right, so number three, I am putting Tekken Two. Okay, I know you guys are wondering why you put that over number three. Let's say the game and then the mechanics. Okay, so maybe the controls are kind of wonky, but I feel like I like it a bit more than number three for some strange reason. Let's just say I like the arcade. I like the more content choices, and also they do have a character's endings just like in number three. But at least in this one, he's actually been more good and better because they explain about the some stories much better. And the characters and all, of course, maybe not like a ten or like number three. There's just some reasons behind it. Maybe because I might like the place places more than number three. Some of number three are just not my favorite. <laughs> maybe that's why I put a little lower and higher at the same time. But other than that, I just like the settings. Then the third one, as you can see why, and the music. So that's maybe the reason. That's all I can say in this one. Number two. Okay, 
Number two. Next one, you guys are going to be like, are going to be mixed about my opinion. But specifically, I'm putting it in number two. Tekken 5. Tekken 5 was originally like my favorite Tekken the whole time. But that's just, that's this one game just kind of replaced my opinion. But I'll get to that in a minute. So, now I, I like they had like new characters. I like they did with a lot of content, like some costumes and everything. Everything is a lot more proven than the, the last few games. A lot more games. Where you in the music, you the bosses, intense. About this game, it just looks so much better. The story is seem a lot better. It just feels like it's more fun than the rest of the other Tekken games I played. It just feels more great, memorable, in several ways. So, yeah, I do like several characters like Robin and I forget the others, but I do know this game is just one of the best. One of the best, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so you probably what probably know or uh, wouldn't mean what if it's number one. One Tekken ends. Number one, this should be so great in my opinion. I know those of you are gonna be like, why'd you put that on number one? I'll say it soon. Number one is lastly Tekken Six. And that's that's before Tekken Seven. And that's saying something. Yeah, that's saying something. Unfortunately for me, I like that he had a tons of the new characters. I even like this new character main Leo Leo Leo. I like his funny moves. I just like his funny moves and I feel like something about the game kinda of made me feel like he's like one of my number one reasons that I feel like it's like the top best. And not only that, the contents and the arcade the final boss, a lot more challenging than any other Tekken, Tekken games I played. And that's saying something. He's a lot more challenging. Yeah. Not to say that Tekken boss is on challenging. I played a good chunk of, chunk of Tekken 6 myself. Uh, but definitely one of the hardest bosses out there. That's for sure. He's right up there with uh, versions like Seth from Street Fighter 4. I say Street Fighter 4 in particular because 5's version of him is not all that tough. Uh, but not to say it isn't challenge. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely up there with some of the hardest bosses we faced. I even dare say he's right on the star killer level, for those who are, don't know what I'm referring to. In SoCal before, uh, several so Star Wars characters appeared in the Xbox 360 version of the game. And that one in particular, particular uh, had star killer from the Force Unleashed. Right, and, uh, with this one... Or even the soundtracks sound more a bit interesting than the rest of the tagging games I played. It's even more memorable in music. It's just that's how much I love this game so much because there's several specific soundtracks in that game. Pretty interesting. And um, and of course, uh, yeah, I feel like with this game, it's just so much interesting, and the final boss kind of made me feel like putting it in number one. If it weren't for all that, Tekken Five would have been in this number. Remember for that. So, other than that, that's all my list. Like I said, we'll do a final show. Uh, like I said, uh, probably in my previous recording, but when Ethan has completed the whole Tekken series spinoff wise, we will do a uh, Fighter Showdown final round, round where Ethan will give his opinions on the rest of the Tekken series. But he has not yet to play those. So, uh, he's played the Tekken Tag Tournament games, but only the Wii U version for Tag Tournament 2. So he still has to play the PlayStation 3 version and the Xbox 360 version to see, give his full opinion on those. And then the several other installments I did notice that Ethan also needs to get hands on with. So it's going to be a while before he gets his full opinion on the whole Tekken series. But um, that was, uh, that's his listings from 1 to 7 for the mainline Tekken games. Yup, so don't expect I'll change my mind about the first, last two I just mentioned. Unless something changes. Uh, but for the time be being, those are his opinions. And of course, when the next Tekken game comes out, Ethan will probably update the list briefly to let you guys know where he where he would put it. But uh, that's probably not for a while. Yup, 
Uh, all right. Next up, we talk about Street Fighter. So, like I said, we are not going to be covering any spin-offs of the Street Fighter series. This includes the EX series and the fan favorite Alpha series. We'll only be covering the first to five installments. And by the way, wait, we will be basing Street Fighter 2 in particular, particular based off of the versions we played in the Anniversary Collection. Collection. Other than that, we will not. Uh, well. Other than that, we will only be basing off of those games that we played the Street Fighter versions for Street Fighter 2 we played, and nothing else. Not even Ultra Street Fighter 2 will be on, uh, will be judged, judged on it. Since all across all versions, they're basically the same, and only with roster changes and different stages. Yup, so with this one, I'm going to briefly talk about some of the, my own opinions. But mostly, mostly for me, I'll be just trying to talk briefly about what what MC just put in his in his list on the number. I mean, I'll be along with it too, but eh, mostly I'll talk briefly about several of the games we mentioned. All right, so I think we both can uh, both can get this out of the way. Number five on the list. Oh, that's right. We should put Street Fighter Five on this side of me. There we go. Uh, so you guys will. Probably figure out which one it is. Since there's only five, five on this list, it might be a little easier, but that depends on how we nail these down. So number five on the list, this is kind of obvious, but like Tekken 1, Street Fighter 1. I played it myself. And I have two. It's not that good. It's yeah. really not that good. I take Tekken 1 over it. Yeah, and also I understand this is a start off from the Street Fighter series. But this doesn't look like a Street Fighter game, unfortunately. Not no the, offense. That's just a, us. <laughs> uh, but honestly, Street Fighter One, uh, Street Fighter One, One, it still is, from what I can tell, a pretty decent game. It, it obviously is the arcade roots, and this is where Ryu and Ken got to stop. But you can those are the only two characters that you would recognize. The rest of the Street Fighter roster didn't get their actual names and identities until later Street Fighter games. Yup, but this looks like a beat em up than just actual fighting game, honestly. What I, what I played. Not to mention the special moves are a lot more trickier than Ethan can handle. And Ethan can handle some pretty tricky moves. Yup. Uh, so, yeah. Just so you know, the Anniversary Collection has the arcade, arcade edition. Uh, it, uh, based off of the arcade version. So this is an arcade purely experience except for two on this list. Well, actually, no. Three on this list. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Alright, so the next ones. The next one, I think we both can agree with this one. Uh, I would probably put Street Fighter 3 on this list. Hmm? Hang on a second. <laughs> Alright, so, so for what I can, so for what I can tell with this one, let's just say, for what I mentioned about Street Fighter we talked about, Oh yeah, well he, he, he's back, so. Alright, so Street Fighter 3. Now, again, again, we are gonna be basing all the three versions of Street all of the versions of Street Fighter 3, just because we have played all three. I think it's fair. So, uh in my opinion, I would probably say I the original Street Fighter 3 is probably third. Mm-hmm. It's a decent game for what I played. Played. Obviously, no Chun Li or Cammy in that one. Uh, but hey, 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 hey! I still think it's a pretty decent game. Now, Street Fighter Two, uh, Street Fighter Three, Three Second Impact is Ethan's favorite. Yup. Uh, he really likes the characters and the movements in that game. Not to mention, did I mention that the is still two D? Yes. Even in the day of three D fighters, Street Fighter Three is completely two D. Yup. And I gotta say, it lives up to its name. It's pretty good animation. I yeah. really like it. Me too, man. Uh, and the music's... Man, it's just so good. Yep. Now, now, in my personal opinion, this one's number one, but in Ethan's personal opinion, if we had to swap, it'd probably be number three. Three on his list. Yep. It's Street Fighter Three Third Strike. Maybe the th theme that I hear for character selection... I'm good. <laughs> Even you with no character selection over it, if he's being honest. Yep. But uh, it still is a good game. The main reason why I put it number one for myself 
is because of Chen Li being back in the game. Which, honestly, is a good thing, so I have a familiar character I can play Street Fighter 3 with. But in Nathan's opinion, it's just because of the character dislike like the music. I know it's a minor complaint, but it's not Ethan's fault. He, uh, uh, fault. he doesn't like the rap stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind some, like, classic rappings. But let's just say, now these days, rapping kind of turns me off. So, Ethan's not a big fan of it. Yup. Uh, that's not to say the theme in all around is so bad. He just doesn't prefer that uh, particular theme. The rest of the game is good. Yes. Uh, but yeah, Street Fighter 3 would be probably be number four on this list, just because it's not the best, but it is decent for what we can. Oh, and the controls, in case you were wondering, are fine, fine. Me and Ethan have played on a PlayStation, uh, with a Nintendo Switch, and the PlayStation controller, they are very decent. Oh, and I nearly forgot about the specials. Um, Street Fighter didn't really start adding specials until Street Fighter 4. So, the specials in the first two games, well, for Ryu, Ryu only, only in one, not so good. It, as for, um, Street Fighter, as for Street Fighter 3, still not specials, but I gotta say, the animations live up to their name. It is. Alright, so number, uh, three. Now, this one's kind of a toss-up for us. Us because that leaves three games left. Two, four, and five. Yup. Where would you probably put Street Fighter 2? I would say, say like, okay, so between Street Fighter 2 and 3, if I'm being honest, in my own end, okay, so, warm for like this, the final game from 3, I would have put number 2 on either 4 or 3. It's kind of a mix-up, my opinion. Say it's Four, three and four. I would say for the time being, three. Ah, I see. So three. Okay, I put Street Fighter two in third place personally. That that's pretty much pretty much the same opinions right in the bag. All right. So Street Street Fighter two. Now, personal personally, uh, we have played all versions of Street Fighter two, but we're gonna be basing this off of the original, original and Super Street Fighter. Uh, so. Super Street Fighter 2 and the original Street Fighter 2, they're decent games. Yeah. I can definitely see how this game got so popular back in the day. It is. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites because my main cami appeared in that one. Um, and and uh, I got used to Chun-Li a lot better in the classic Street Fighter 2s than I did with nowadays Street Fighter 2. Right. Which, honestly, is a testament <laughs> testament to saying something because... Uh, I can still get a, used to a special from 4 or 5. Yeah. Yeah, so one thing that it turns me off, I played a bit more on the Switch version. It was an upgrade, way upgrade version for number 2. I like the other ones, but the latest upgrade for Street Fighter 2 is Ultra... Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenges. Yes. And, yeah, that one was... The controls are kind of... Big time. <laughs> I'll take the classic classic Super Street Fighter and the, origi and the original Street Fighter 2 over there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we like it at first, and then we, we look back, and we're like... <clears throat> yeah, garbage for it. Very garbage for it. Indeed. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's our opinions on both of those. those. I will say the visuals at the time, I can see why this uh, that game is so popular. But Capcom, can you stop with support? I swear, if we see a Street Fighter 2 on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, I've had the ones we've gotten, I'm going to go nuts. Yeah, I know. Uh, but, yeah. All right, now these last two are really hard for both of us. Because, I like the two games, honestly. But we had to be brutally honest here. If, Ourselves this time. If I'm being honest, I'd probably put... Mmm, this is hard. I think it's safe to say that we like, uh, as dated as it is, for a second place. Number four <laughs> used to be my first place. And then for some reason, I look back, I would say Street Fighter Five. I would say in mine right away, because, because I don't talk so much in video. But I'll put mine right away this time. Number four, uh, no, no, no. Number two, Street Fighter Four. And no worries, that game was originally my number one before five, okay? 
But then Street Fighter V kind of put me to say number one just because the upgrade versions and the beginning, I actually been putting it number one straight forward. Yeah. Uh, but Street Fighter 4 does still hold a special place in our hearts. That was our very first Street Fighter game that we ever played. And honestly, I can see why people love Street Fighter 4 still. It, it's such a great game. The specials are great. Although, that's still hard for me to do. Ethan can do them no problem. Mm -hmm. Problem. He loves to get... get uh, he's actually a very good... That's actually where he got Ryu down pretty much for the first time ever. Ever. Uh, he and Ryu connected on a spiritual level and a main level, so... Ever since then, Ethan's made Ryu in every Street Fighter game since. Yup. So, yeah. Uh, but honestly, that is the first game that we ha have played. We played the Arcade Edition, just so you guys know, uh, which is Ultra Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. That game is so good. Mm -hmm. Good. So much content, lots of story paths, several different mains, three of which are coming back from Street Fighter 4. Yup. And I honestly did not see that coming. Yep. Um, but I am so, so, so excited. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, uh, if you haven't seen the Street Fighter V character reveal for Season 5, yes, they're doing one more season. I'll give them some credit. It's the last one before the next, next Street Fighter, so. Uh, but seriously, though, though. Uh, some of the characters in that game, I also have a distaste towards. And I have a distaste since I really do not like Jari. Yeah, Jari is definitely a rival of Kimmy, I'm not mistaken. Correct. So, I can see that right there. Yeah, and I particularly have bad memories because of Street Fighter 4, and still to this day, I can still not beat her. I mean, yeah. I've been in her off screen, but I want to beat her on screen for you guys to show you how good, good, good I've gotten with Candy. But I just can't beat her for some reason, even on easy, easy. And I don't want to go to very easy because then that's not even a challenge. Yeah, to me, that's kind of like me with Wakuma with versus Ryu, honestly. Yeah. Not easy. Not easy. Oh, by the way, there's multiple story paths in this game, so depending on how, e how how far you get. Get uh, you might actually uh go down a different one than your final boss, mm -hmm. and Ryu I know for a fact has multiple different paths. You'll face either his master Ken or Akuma. Oh yeah. So yeah, depending on how you well you do. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically our opinions. I say something on the controls of music, but I think it's obvious by this point that it's pretty refined. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now Street Fighter Five. Five is our number one, and there's a good reason for that. Oh yeah, ton of good reasons. I actually, why have several reasons in my own my own view. Story, fantastic. Even if some people are gonna like, hey, story's not that good. Nah, nah, nah. It's not gonna be good. Uh, if you try to put the canon together, that is. Is uh, now here's the catch. Street. Fun fact for those who don't know, Street Fighter Five takes place. Before Street Fighter 3. <laughs> yep, yep. But that one makes sense. If you guys play all the way through this story, you can see what we're talking about. I already know what, what's going on. Yeah, so, uh, so Street Fighter 5 takes place before Street Fighter uh, 3. That means 4 takes place before it as well. So, which means it's a... That game is a prequel to number three story, Kenan. Yep. Yep. By sequel mechanic wise. Though it makes you wonder. What happened to Kami then? Then. Cause I know Chun Li's still allowed and fixed her third strike. Although I'm not sure if she's in in a canon sense. Uh but uh, in terms of canon, after Street Fighter Five uh four, Kami disappeared. Uh, 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 after Street Fighter 3, Kami disappeared from the last canon wise, so I don't know where she went. Wait, was she killed? Did something happen to her? I, I don't know. We have to wait for the next installment to clear that one up, possibly. Indeed. Uh, so, yeah, that's interesting to see, though. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously the character roster, well, duh, it's massive! I just say it's. Capcom Smash Ultimate. Oh, yeah. 
There's so many different characters from different fra- uh, from a couple of Capcom's other franchises, like Final Fight. Um, so many costumes, I've lost count. Yes. Um, um, arcade mode is decent, although that wasn't in the launch game, Capcom. You thought that was going to get away from me, even. Ah, 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 we still remember. We read it online that there wasn't. Tisk tisk tisk. Uh, but yeah, definitely one. Uh, but I am so, so. It, it's just that good. So the arcade mode in this one is actually one of the more unique takes I've seen for arcade. Um, in a sense, kind of like Smash Ultimate's arcade. Uh, but it actually takes all the previous Street Fighter games, games, and you get to go down the routes of the uh, roster. From those Street Fighters only. Yes. And 5 has its own. Own as well. 10 battles. Oh, and all of them have endings. Character endings. Just like previous times. So it's kind of cool. Not videos, unfortunately. But it's still pretty cool. The comic books. Well, the comic panels, at least. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely. Music's definitely great. Um... Let me see. And, of course, like I said, so many characters in this game. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even not gushing at this point. But that's because it is our favorite Street Fighter. Yeah. For now, at least. So, yeah. Um, of course, of course, like I said, we'll do a, a Fighter Showdown final round when we played not just Alpha, but Street Fighter EXE as well. We still have yet to play that series of games, and that's a free, free installment. Another uh, no, the installment. The only problem is that one's even better than Alpha. Because Alpha got several points beforehand. Yep. And this one? It does not. Nope. Hasn't even been touched by Capcom. So, unless we get ports in the near future, <sighs> me and Ethan are going to have to fork over some money for the original copies. And that's not cheap. Cheap. I've looked up the prices. They're not easy to find and not easy to buy either. They're pretty rare. They're rare. Uh, as in the, uh, as in the company. <laughs> yes. Yikes. Um, but yeah, that's it for our opinions on these two fighting franchises, Tekken and Street Fighter. Fighter. Uh, our next video will be on Soul Calibur and Dead or Alive. Live. Those two franchises. And I can tell you right now why Soul Calibur is kind of obvious. <laughs> uh, Dead or Alive? Mm, that one's gonna be hard for me because I like five and six. I mean, I like I like five mostly. I didn't play number four that much, but I can see there's several uh, Dead or Alive games I haven't played yet. So yeah, yeah. So uh, we will do another fight of the showdown when we've played all the installments, but we still have yet to play three and one for Dead or Alive and the rest of the Tekken series. And at one point, point after this. That episode will tackle both the Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue franchises. Why we played all Blaze Blue at least once. Guilty Gear is going to be a bit hard because me and Ethan actually haven't touched that franchise outside of the la- la- outside of latest installments. Yep. So you're gonna have to give us some time on that one. But uh, yeah, those are all the fighting fa- franchises for this video. We'll do another one later. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Now, just so you guys know that. To- is something coming up very special for the Go Gamers. Possibly, I have to talk to Laura and Ethan N about it, but something very exciting is coming to the Go Gamers very soon. Uh, so stay clued. All right, that's all. Y'all have a na- National Video Game Day. Great National Video Game Day. Play some video games if you haven't already today. Today, like, uh, and if you haven't, well, what are you waiting for? For or grab your Switch, grab your PlayStation controller, grab your Xbox controller for Pete's sake. Or PC. <laughs> and go play some video games. You deserve it after today. Say, it is National Video Gaming Day after all. In fact, that's what Ethan's probably going to do after this video recording. Jump into some Sly Cooper. Oops. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to head back, back probably to Tony Hawk's for skating. Uh, but, yeah. That's all for now. This is yours truly, DJ Music Clues. He's in, signing out. And y'all have a great gaming day. Great National Video Gaming Day. See ya.